Hey guys, how's it going? This is the uh, introductory video to both my RTS Wikia and YouTube accounts. And this is a video for all new users and veteran uh, users as alike, alike to both uh, the RTS software and the RTS server. Just to explain what we do, um, give you an introductory or just to start you off and from there lead you on your way as to the world of RTS and uh, what makes us who we are and what we're all about. Basically what you're seeing here, uh, I chose a quiet time right now on the server, but there was a couple trains that ran this afternoon, for example, the Moron Local uh, just came back. Uh, these, what RTS is all about, especially with our servers, is basically car forwarding. We do run uh, through traffic. Uh, this train here, for example, this uh, intermodal train that's out here uh, is just a through train, but RTS actually generates these trains as well. So everything you see here, all these cars are randomly, we got the same tags on them because uh, we don't necessarily have to worry about uh, setting up tags out of the world. Uh, the only tags that are generated are destinations uh, going off, the, off the, the route or destinations to industries and yards within the route. Uh, once it goes outside the route, it doesn't matter. So uh, this one's going to Los Angeles uh, B Yard, for example. So all these trains, uh, if you look at the train, uh, the head end here, you can see, and there's a Southern Pacific engine. I'll get to more about that in a minute. Uh, ISCLB03. Uh, 03, uh, it was generated on, on the third of the month. So whatever day of the month it generates, it puts the actual numbers. You see a Southern Pacific engine there. Uh, these are the only types of engines. U, uh, UP, you can define uh, if it's a UP train uh, in the train files, if it's a UP train, a CSX train, or a BNSF train. And it'll have its sister engines primarily. So you'll see Southern Pacific engines pop up with Union Pacific engines. Uh, that's currently hard-coded, but in the future I'll have some more specifications but you also see the odd BNSF engine thrown in or the odd uh, CSX, CSX or NS engine thrown in as well uh, but it does it rarely puts them in only you know, I think uh, one maybe 10 percent of the time or even one percent of the time I forget exactly what the number is on that but uh, uh, so yeah that's this is basically the nerve center you got the tr um, the trim engines and this is my server that uh, I control California here. I got some storage in here and some of the stuff that goes on to the Cadiz local, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, what, what you do is you download, um, here, let me go into, we'll just go into our Wikia here. And this is accessible to anybody. Uh, there's no, there, there's, there's no longer a membership required, although we do encourage getting a Wikia membership, which gives you uh, the personalities and uh, able to see yourself. Otherwise, uh, when you post a message, it just it says it's posted from a Wikia contributor. Um, but uh, go into here, you can you can see the various. Um, uh, go into the home page here, and where you're going to basically see what's coming up here is in the RTS software. It's under construction right now. Uh, I plan on expanding that within the next two weeks coming into the end of April. Uh, that's because the software used to be hosted on a website that I had. Uh, for those of you who might have remembered the RTS website, I haven't hosted it since and I'm not going to be hosting that software until I do the next cycle uh, for both California uh, and Florida. Selkirk is another one that's currently under experimental uh, servers. We got two experimental servers up for that uh, in the generating of this video uh, in the middle of April right now. So um, yeah, you got uh, different things in here. You can go into the operations, click onto that, uh, various things, what the, what the cycle is. So there's a lot of a wealth of information as far as uh, there's two tutorials. The registry is what I was going to uh, say here. You go through where uh, sorted the last few trains around. Like I said, the Boron Local uh, just finished running earlier this afternoon. 
I go through on to um, the various starting locations. You got a um, SJVR current turn that's ready. Uh, nothing going uh, from Bakersfield at this time. There's a build for at Barstow for the Barbell One, which cars are in the yard for. Um, and then there's other ones uh, that are set up as well. But uh, go to the needles. I don't know if I have any trains. I got a crew change out for Tall Bar, but. Um, Let's say, for example, if this was if this was released, there would be a download link here. Uh, I don't have them released just yet because it's later in the session. But M Bell Bar One out of Needles, for example, if that was released, there would be a download link for it. And it's just a matter of downloading the file into. It. And there's a tutorial on how to do this. I won't get to it in this video, but uh, you would just go to Needles and. You're going to uh, what was it? M Bell Bar. Trying to remember which one it was. I think it was M Bell Bar. There it is. So we spawn this train, and it pops you to the camera here at Needles. Should load up in a second. Let me just double check. There it is. Spawn this is spawn the train. So there it is. So just like that. And also look at oh wow, that's a neat one. Now this is all, this is what uh, surprises you with the RTS system. Is this is a BNSF train, yet all of a sudden there's some foreign units on it. Now these are rare. This doesn't happen that often. Uh, it just so happened that the random numbers came up and it decided to put both uh, a UP family engine, which being Southern Pacific, and a CSX engine. So you're looking at the tags here. This comes from the waybills. So you got uh, auto racks going to Watson, and then box cars empties. So you got empties loads. Got car empties going to Vancouver, and then we got tank cars, flammable tanks, all kinds of stuff, potash, and then a couple BNSF engines. It knows what tonnage, based on the settings that uh, you've set up, or basically what I've set up for this server in particular. I'll just delete this right now and uh, what I can show you as well here I'll log off my servers we have a network of servers it's not just the California there's also uh, we host uh, a Florida server uh, independently um, so let me go into the host here or client I'm used to hosting so I'll bail out on this and you want to check out the same password for all the sites and to get the password you just have to look, go through our procedures and uh, that can be found on the wikia join the session here uh, we'll go into Florida oops helps if I load the right uh, route so let me just go into a line and we'll load up that So up at Crawford, go ahead and enjoy the Florida server. And you notice it's a little darker in the east right now, so 5.32 p.m. at the east. Or actually, it's probably, sorry, 6.32. It's using uh, standard time right now. So we got one train there. I don't know if he's running or whatever, but uh, we'll take a look. Sounds like something's running in the area. switching intermodal traffic so uh, okay there's a user there so he's back uh, they're working the intermodal yard here so everything is once again it's based off of waybills so I'll get out of that and as I was saying we are in the process of the newest route uh, Selkirk uh, we have two experimental servers up if you're interested in hosting an RTS server uh, by all means contact us uh, we do have experimental ones up right now uh, I'm not too sure as far as if I'm going to be developing a system for it or not 
but I'll join this one. So we got the some of these here. Or that was me. Okay. So we got Selkirk going on. This is a beautiful route if you haven't seen this already. And some yard work going on here. I don't know if anybody's on right now. But this is an ex again, it's a, yeah, we got somebody running. So Selkirk, he's running. Transport to selected player. And this isn't necessarily part of the RTS software because there is no actual, um, there's actually no RTS code that's been developed as of yet. Uh, but the purpose why I'm going through this tutorial um, series that's coming up on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a lot of YouTube videos in the next little bit, is I want to get more people involved in actually going ahead and generating the code for the RTS. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, what's uh, what's all that about? And there was another server there, too. I, there's the other server. I won't get into that. But um, the RTS software, if I go into this, and I'm not going to generate it in this video because what that will do is it will overwrite, overwrite the trains that are on my hard drive. But uh, this is the RTS software. You do not need the RTS software to be part of, uh, of joining a session. What the RTS software is for is for those who want to have a single player environment and once again these files are totally uh, adjustable. I'm going to end this actually for now. I won't, I won't type in any commands for this time. So we'll end the program. But when you go into your roots fo folder and then you edit the trains file there's all your trains right there now I'm gonna go into detail how to deal with this um, there is documentation available uh, for the RTS I will be releasing an, an, an updated version uh, probably around the end of April beginning of May and what that's going to do is it's going to dig into everything that I can possibly throw at everybody. Like for example, the blocks file. This is the biggie. If you look into the blocks file, you can see we have race pond and uh, there's been some changes. Uh, there was a, a recent update that changed race pond and Winokur, for example. So you see all these 40, there's a bunch of little small blocks at Winokur. Uh, this was causing issues, errors for me, so I threw everything off of Winokur and have everything coming in at race pond but you look at all these numbers and it looks you know it can be very um, scary for for someone who's not too sure how to do the data this is a user defined file that is totally edited uh, able to be edited or editable I guess is the word sounds like edible anyways that file and any RTS file that I have comma delimited so it's got commas that represents it's very it's not user friendly but trust me if you use what I have in place as an example and work a little at a time you can put add as many trains as you would like and the reason why I'm going to be waiting to show those videos and get those tutorials off is in the next two weeks I will go through and actually start adding some of these tutorials onto the Wikia site. So if you haven't already, check out the Wikia. This is, again, you do not have to be a member. Just go to railroadtransportationsimulator.wikia.com. I'll leave a link in this video. Um, thanks for uh, taking the time uh, to check, check this out. If you have any questions, it doesn't matter if you're a Wikia member or not. Just leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment in the video. I'll get back to you. I check all the time. Uh, once again, I appreciate uh, the support. Uh, if you have any suggestions, there's community forums. Everything's available to you. Uh, I can do whatever I can to help uh, answer your questions. And thanks a lot, and you take care.